Hey guys, today I'm giving my review of the, this is a Switch uh, grip for the Nintendo Switch. It's one of my favorite accessories for the Switch. Um, along with, uh, you know, the case is pretty good. But. So basically, it's very simple, like a phone case. You just put it on the Switch, click it in, and it's very, uh, I have to say, it does enhance my game experience. You know, very comfortable, definitely does give you grip. So in games where you need to like, you know, very sensitive kind of thing, it's uh, pretty good. It doesn't cover up any of the, um, I mean, it does tiny, a tiny, tiny bit, the, uh, the, the uh, L, left and right, tiny, tiny bit, but you can still press on. Triggers are not covered at all, so it's very nice. And the front, you know, nothing really, and then obviously you still have access to all your ports. All there, kickstand. It's very nice, definitely protects your... And one of my one of the things I like is uh, personally is because of the you know, um, and a lot of switches, especially mine, the left Joy-Con controller, it gets kind of loose after a time. So like, let me show you. So it is pretty easy to take out, just just like a phone case, you know, just pop it out. Uh, okay, so the stand just came flying off, uh, but it's not for those of you who know who have a loose stand. If you just want it to stop being loose, all you have to do is bend it from from just a little bit. You, if you just bend it just a little bit, and then you pop it back in. Oh, shit. So. All right, and then it's not loose anymore. It's very tight. So, just a quick tip for you guys. Anyway, so like I was saying. This, well, I have left, left Joy-Con, so like the right Joy-Con is very secure. Only way to get it out is to press this button. The left one, however, it comes off very easily. See like that? Just, I didn't even do anything. Just like, pop. So you could just be playing, and then one day you just like, and then it just comes off. So, case is definitely a good remedy for that. Um, unless you want to buy <laughs> buy a new Joy-Con, but eventually that won't solve the problem because. It's a manufacturing flaw, so even if you get a new one, it will eventually erode just like the old one. Uh, did I put that? No, I did not. See, I put it on the wrong way, guys. All right. Um, but overall, definitely definitely a must-have for the Switch. And if you don't have a Switch, then you need to get one because it's definitely the best handheld console of the year. Maybe even console, but I think only 20% of people use the, use the Switch in a console mode. I personally... I've only used it in console mode once, so <laughs> yeah, I'm among those. I mean, it's very, and then I mean, I get uh, so I guess if you wanted to take out the Joy Cons and play like Joy Con free, like whatever, then that would be then you have to take out the case every time, it might be a little bit annoying. But for me, honestly, that I only do that very when I, when I go on like plane trips or like a train, then I'll take the Joy Cons off and play it in front of my seat, whatever. But I mean, for day to day usage, definitely recommend this if you don't have a Switch. You need to get one, you need to get Zelda, you need to get Mario Odyssey, you need to get uh, Skyrim or Golf Story or a lot of, a lot of big games. Um, honestly, before I got the Switch, I never really, uh, I never really um, played adventure games or indie games or anything like that. Honestly, I just played League of Legends and shit, you know. <laughs> um, but then I wasn't expecting to get, like, uh, when, when I was hearing it with Switch, um, I was like, eh, uh, but I had to get it because you know me, I'm like latest and greatest technology kind of guy, and I was never really into Nintendo products, but when I saw the Switch and I saw the Joy Cons and attaching, I knew this shit was was gonna be OP. And then I saw like the 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 future use for virtual reality, I think, and I was just like, yo, this this shit's this shit's gonna be crazy. So I got it, and my gosh, I did not expect to be so blown away by Zelda Breath of the Wild. The game's absolutely amazing, like. Hands down, I, I can't believe how amazing that game is. It creates a whole different experience. All, all just like, and then uh, Skyrim. Skyrim was amazing. I say I was, I was on the fence about that game because I was like, you know, I played Skyrim so many times. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. And but it runs so smooth on the Switch. Like FPS, no FPS lag, nothing like that. Everything is beautiful. The graphics, everything. Bethesda, they are. They are one. They're great. They just, and then they released Doom. That was that was awesome. And so, Skyrim whole different experience for me. It was I played that game so much. 
Uh, Mario Odyssey was a great game, to be honest with you. I didn't think, I thought it was a little bit hyped up. I didn't really think it was that great. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe maybe just me, but eh, it's okay. Uh, Mario Kart, it's pretty good. Rocket League, Rocket League is the perfect game for the Switch, I have to say. The perfect game. The, I mean, like the like the perfect, like it was probably like the perfect online, you know, what we call MOBA, uh, multiplayer online based arena, whatever. It, it's it's amazing. But, um, yes, get the Switch and then get this case, this this grip, what's it called, grip case, and then get the real case if you want. Um, but, uh, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Great, see you later.